Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 420 for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to, welcome back to Business Brain, the show where we talk about how we and, and do use our business brains in all aspects of our lives, including, of course, our businesses here in Durham, New Hampshire, back here in Durham, New Hampshire. I'm Dave Hamilton. It's still here in the <laughs> Bay Area, <laughs> in Lafayette, California. I'm Shannon Jean. Welcome back. Thanks, man. Uh, good, good chance to see your uh, kids over in Italy. It was, like yeah, it was trip. amazing. Uh, being cool. able to, you know, my, my daughter and her, her boyfriend live over there now. He plays pro hockey over there. Uh, she has a job where she can work remotely. And it's just, you know, it's fantastic seeing them and and how they've created their life over yeah, there, their lives, awesome. but their life together over there. Like they've got an apartment and they, you know, they, Terrific. they exist in this community where English is not really spoken. I mean, people speak English, it's, but it's mostly German and Italian, even though it's in Italy, Germ German is the sort of the primary language in this area, but it's amazing how, how they, they've like fully integrated and they have good friends over there and just being able to see how well they're thriving and all of that made it a little bit easier to leave and come home. Yeah. You know, sure, I mean, sure. it's, it's hard saying goodbye, but I, oh, as yeah. I always say to my family, yeah. like that's a good symptom of, yes. a, 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 that is, or that is a symptom of a fantastic scenario. If we were not yes. sad to say goodbye to each other, to me, that would be, that would show failure on, on our part the, the yeah. four of us, you, you know, the, the yeah. four and of I, us. And I family, think it's yeah. easier to, it's, it's, uh, easier to say goodbye than it is to, Hey, I need you to move out of my basement. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's true. That's <laughs> right. interesting. So I, I, yeah. 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 And right. I, I think that is a sign of, of success on both 100%. the parent and the, and the, the young person's, uh, uh, you know, yeah. both, both of them. That's a successful transfer and launching out of like, okay, I'm going to totally miss you and everything else, but I'm so happy for you that you're going to experience all this awesome stuff. Exactly. You've got a, a great team. I think it's very helpful when there are two of them. Yeah. Uh, Cause you feel like they're working together and well, you got somebody to eye out for each other. Yeah. It's yeah. like having a business partner. I mean, yeah. in, in a lot of ways yeah. that, that there is a oh, similarity yeah. there between having a, you, yes. you know, a life partner and a business partner. It's you, you get to experiment and make mistakes and have successes together. Uh, yeah. And and somebody to say, hey, that sounds like a terrible idea at, when you're yes. about to do something stupid. You know, that's yes, yes. yeah, <laughs> that's very important. Very important. Yeah. No, it was yes. great. It was great seeing him. I I feel a whole lot better. I mean, I felt fine. Like I wasn't worried about them other than just the normal sort of, you know, parent sort of concerns. But um, but it was great to see him. Like, yeah, like you said, they're no, it's great to see them like truly on their own and, and it's working and all of that good stuff. It's like, yeah, success sucks to say goodbye, but success. Yes. Yep. Cool. That's great. Yeah. Better. Like you said, better Happy than not saying goodbye for, you know, yes. for decades. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Wasn't there a movie about that failure to launch or something like that? Or, oh, I never saw that movie, yeah, but I that never, sounds like that the right good. thing. Yeah. 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 Oh. So that's, that's great. Um, yeah. That's uh, it's, fun that we're both at, at similar stages because you can talk about it and see how things are going with these uh with these kids as yeah. they start their life as they start their wonderful lives. i love it uh, yeah. same yep it's, it's great really cool it's great hey we yeah. got uh we've been asking for your questions into feedback at businessbrain.show and you've been sending them and remember if we take your question and feature it answer it highlight it use it mention it on the show that enters you into our drawing for a MacBook Air this year here in 2023. Randy from Rockland, you're in the drawing. He says, uh, I'm a retired IT product project manager that retired from a major telecom company about eight years ago. I've been a Mac user since 86, and I'm on an all Apple ecosystems. Um, since retiring, I've started a side hustle in areas of tech support. Besides providing Apple support, I've also been working in the smart home areas, such as ring doorbells, wireless security cameras, voice activation devices, and all things to do with cutting the cord. This past year was really busy, and I'm not thinking it's time to move into, and now thinking it's time to move into being a small business owner. That way I can take advantage of the benefits of being a small business owner that I have heard much about on the show. I expect Smart. I will need, yeah, I expect that I will need a business license to get started as well as completing the various 
um, starting small business tasks that you have mentioned on your past podcast. My question is, what is the thought process in deciding on being a, either a sole proprietor or becoming an LLC? I want to answer that question, but the first thing I want to address is the assumption about needing a business license. I've never gotten a business license. Um, I have, <laughs> I have formed yeah. LLCs. I have right. gotten DBAs, but I've just, I plow my path forward. And one of the first things that I, I did, like when I started my first business was I wanted a bank account in the name of the business. So I went to the bank. I started there, you know, start where you're going to end. And they were like, okay, so do you have uh, a, a, like incorporation papers? I'm like, no, it's just going to be me. I'm calling myself, you know, Dave, the lawnmower or whatever. Right. And, uh, and they were like, okay, do you have a DBA? I'm like, no, what's that? And they told me it's a paper you file with your local uh, thing to, to get a name reserved for you. Go do that. Then you can come back and you can get an account uh, as, you know, as your DBA. So that's always where I start. And I've never encountered a scenario where someone has said, oh, you need a business license. If they did, I would have gone and gotten a business license. But I, I, I guess my advice here is don't just assume you need to do lots and lots of menial tasks before you can just get going with your business. I, my, my MO has always been just get going and then do the menial stuff that you have to do. And figure that yeah, out along this, the way. This is the best thing about I love about this question as well, and I and I have to, I'm going to bring it up as, is that Randy didn't you know we we made this comment beware the onces oh once I do this once I yeah. get a business license once I get a resale permit once I form an LLC those are all just barriers so just start just and, start and pick it up you're not going to you know, start and owe a million dollars in taxes immediately. Start, get things going, keep track of things. Make sure that what you're doing is viable, that you're good at it, that you have interest in it. And then when you start to see some success like Randy has, then you start asking questions. Okay, what do I need? Yeah. Uh, do you need a business license? Now, you know, if you're a contractor, if you're, uh, there's all kinds of different types of businesses, but there's a bunch of them that you need to get a business license. I'm sure for. there are. Yeah. Even in each, if if you go from city to city, they would like you to have a business license in every city or town uh, that you do work in because they would like a piece of your revenue. So you got to do a little research. You're talking to probably the two people that don't agree with that mindset <laughs> the most. Yeah. Uh, well, so you know, my my experience and and this is Dave sharing, not Dave advising. Uh, my experience has been. It for me, it's been cheaper to essentially follow the ask for forgiveness instead of permission model with all this stuff. Yes, because if it because you know you you first of all, like you said, beware the onces. You can you can always have something else to do before you can quote unquote start your business. So don't do that. Just start. That's what I do. Now yeah. again, look into it. Depending on what you're doing, you might really need a license and. Uh, and, and, but I don't know, man, like with well, what, with what well, Randy's doing, I don't think yeah, he needs that's a license. Right. Now, yeah. Randy, if, if the business grows and you decide, wow, you know, I'd, I'd like to have a storefront and, or a warehouse or a building with a sign on the side, you're going to need a business license. Cause what they've done, well, a lot of cities and towns do is the, there's certain gatekeepers and some of those are the signage folks that say, oh, I can't create this sign for you. You need to include your business license in this form. So you got to get the hell out of California, man. Dude. Because <laughs> that's not you. how it is here in New Hampshire. If oh, I want to put, I yeah. put a sign, I, I am in uh, What's light. the motto of your state? Well, so the motto, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more, it's not a choice. It's a command. Yeah. It is yes. live free or die. So Correct. you live free by the... State of New Hampshire's definitions, or you die. It's oh, not. I see. Th this yeah, is I see, yeah. See. We have okay. plenty of regulations I don't interpret here. Interpret that. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. too many regulations here, but um, but that's not one of them. I I it happens. It just so happens that my neighborhood is zoned as light commercial. Uh, oh, there's one yeah. person on my street. She runs a uh like a a bakery. She ran it in her home for a that's long cool. time. It massively outgrew her home, so now she's got store frontage but she hung a sign i could hang a sign out front tonight that said uh, nice. business brain prod podcast and it yeah, would, it, yeah like no one would care you would totally do that fine. and then you would get a letter right like 
couple of weeks after it says, hey, congratulations on launching your business. You need to f- come here and file this link and pay this fee. <laughs> hey, and pay a penalty for not having done oh, yeah. that in, in the oh, first place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, anyway, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to see uh, Randy in Rockland. I'm assuming it's it, maybe, maybe, I don't know if it's Rockland, California or not, but you know, look into those things. I wouldn't run out and get a business license either. I think the uh, the the thing we'd like to do today is talk about the pros and cons of the LLC versus a sole proprietorship. Yep. Uh, and and then you can make a decision on on uh, the best way to proceed for your own business. Uh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. um, I I have run businesses both ways, uh, sole proprietor and LLC. I find it's well, if you have a partner and I know uh, at least based on Randy's description, he does not. If you have a partner that's not your spouse, an LLC is going to make things much cleaner for you and your partner uh, to yeah. own, to you know, to have joint ownership over something. And an LLC, you can you can start online. You go to bizfilings.com or really. I mean, you don't even need to do that. Just pretty it's, easy now. It's yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. pick the state that you want to file your your LLC in. Most of us like Delaware, Texas, or Nevada, but you can yep. pick whatever state you want uh, to to form it. it. You might also need to file franchise taxes in your own. Why state. is that, Dave? That that those three states are uh, uh, their fees favorite. are the least. Yeah, yeah. Their and fees I think are the also lowest. the liability uh, protection for owners or or maybe a little bit better in those three states. I think so. Delaware has, I think Delaware and Nevada have the distinction of not overly publicizing the names of the members of the, the, uh, the, the entity. If somebody sues you, they, they can find them out. It's not like it's, it's hidden and, and anonymous. But like the state of Texas, where I have a, a bunch of my LLCs because I happen to live there, it just I lucked out that I was in Texas when I formed these because it's a great state to form LLCs in. But uh, that one, you could just go online. You'll see my name, my address, and you know all that stuff if you look up any of the companies that I yeah. have in Texas. But Delaware, you could look up companies yep. that you might think I have, and you will not be able to prove whether or not I have them, which could could be helpful. I don't know. Could, could be. You never know. And yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of that stuff too. I have, uh, you know, some Nevada LLCs that I do some things with and I think it's a great, and I like it cause I can be drive there if I need to in a, right. in a you know, few hours it's close. And, uh, you know, so I, I think that's great. And I, I think that while we're on the LLC topic, I think the biggest, you know, benefit is this kind of, uh, separate entity and it, also gives you protection as a separate entity. If you keep your personal assets and your business assets separate, if someone comes after your LLC, you, the LLC is going to be liable for whatever assets it owns. And those may be very little be as you transfer them and take yeah. out, you know, revenue and that kind of thing. It protects uh, your house and, and you know, yep. your, your other yep. stuff. Yeah. Your other assets. And you just want to be sure you know, you have separate checking accounts, separate bank accounts, and other assets. And when you when you file for an LLC online, either Biz Filings, LegalZoom, or Rocket Lawyers, another one, that you'll get a bunch of details about the best way to structure it. And you can get help from your accountant and, and a lawyer if you need to, but uh, most of those places will do that. Yeah. Yeah. Give you, give you that feedback. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it, yeah. I, um, if you're running it on your own and you're not, overly concerned about liability and and i i will say i have run for brief periods my computer consulting business as an as a sole proprietorship but you know you're working on people's computers if you yeah. screw something up and and I, I i'm not saying that randy's not not good at this or anything like well but stuff all of happens. us yeah. stuff yeah. happens you know, yeah. you're, you're I mean, nowadays, I don't know how often we open computers to fix them, but you know, in the old days we did. And I, I fried a few computers unintentionally in my day and man, you know, thankfully nobody ever sued me for that. I, I always right. smoothed it over whenever it happened, but, um, you might find yourself in a scenario where, where you're, you're getting sued a, a former, yeah. gotta be careful. Yeah. A former partner of mine who was running a, a, you know, a similar business, fixing people's computers wound up fixing uh, 
working with a very famous basketball player in San Antonio to warranty their hard drive. And in, in doing so, no, they brought the computer uh, with the dying hard drive into, you know, like back to their, their house or their shop or whatever. They uh, took a, a, a drive that they, it was, it was a storefront, I guess, that they, that they had at this point. They took a drive off the shelf, uh, cloned the drive in the, the failing drive to the drive off the shelf, sent the failing drive in to whatever company was, you know, going to replace it, Seagate or something. Uh, Seagate sends them the new drive. They clone the, the, from the, the spare drive back to the, the new one and they yep. put the drive back on the shelf. For those of you who are paying close attention, <laughs> you notice that I didn't say they erased the spare drive before they put it on the shelf. So famous basketball player's wife, two weeks later, gets a phone call from someone who bought a hard drive from my friend and says, I have your Quicken data, your wow. contacts wow. data. Oh, Obviously, yeah. I have yeah. your phone number. I thought you might want to know. And... Uh, there was a, I think a, a $2 million lawsuit filed. Wow. Right. So like, but this was an honest mistake. It wasn't, it was just, it was the wrong person. Like this was a, you sure. know, a high net sure. worth person whose privacy really mattered to them. And they obviously had the means to uh, engage yeah. a, a high powered attorney and it didn't crater my friend's business, but it almost did. So yeah. those yeah. are the things where it's like, yeah, man, you know, take, th we say, beware the once is. Forming an LLC doesn't take very much. Um, I My feeling on it, and this is a gamble, is earn enough from the business to pay the filing fee. If you can't earn enough from the business, then it's not worth filing the LLC. However, it is entirely possible that you will make your critical error while earning the filing fee, even uh -huh. though it's only a yeah. few hundred dollars. But that's yeah. to me, that's the gamble I always take is the business is going to pay for the business to, to exist. Yeah. And if it can't, right. then I don't have a business to worry about. That's always been yeah. my thing. Yeah. And I, I think that's, you know, kind of uh, talking about pros and cons, sole proprietorship, LLC, LLC can be a little more complicated. You got to do some stuff online. You got to pay some fees in California. It's going to cost you 800 bucks oh. uh, per year. That's a minimum. Yeah. Whether you do any business or not, uh, you get the benefit of, of paying that. Um, I also think the LLC can add credibility to your business if in your website, if you got the about us, da 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 da. So that I mean, some people may feel more yeah. comfortable doing that. Um, and but obviously, the biggest uh, benefit is that that liability protection that you're talking about. Um, I I I love them, but I wouldn't not do or I, I would get started first just like randy has done perfect get it going show oh, i can make some money now yeah. i need to make some decisions about how this works instead of trying to stress about where do i go how do i file where do i pay the 800 bucks no, find it, the customers and find it. the money yeah then yeah, exactly. put the infrastructure yeah. together yep you got it that's but, great but i wouldn't well, shy away from the llc I, in fact no, i, I, I agree. my approach to it is that the llc is my default unless i there's some scenario where I'm like, yeah, it's really, I'll, I'll be fine. Like my music, my, I, I, Dave, the musician has never been an LLC. That's always been right. a sole proprietorship. Yeah. And, and there have been like, there are scenarios where it would be better to have an LLC, but they're far and few between for the way I do things. And so that just stays the sole proprietorship, but the rest of the things yeah. I do all LLCs. Yeah. That's great. Well, and Randy, we'll put some more links in the show notes up at businessbrain.show that you can click into and read some more uh, articles. We'll have some more data up there. But thanks for sending that in. We got you entered in to win a MacBook Air. It's The odds are great. There's a handful of people in that contest right now. So send us a message, feedback at businessbrain.show. Let us know your questions and your comments. And if we feature them on the show, you'll be entered. Absolutely. That's how it works, folks. Thanks for hanging out with us for the last 20 minutes or so. We'll see you next time. Make sure to send your questions in. Keep living that charmed life. <laughs>